Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the region bounded by x squared root x, just like the previous problem, but instead of spinning it about the y-axis, we're spinning it about the x-axis. So quick sketch time. We have x squared, we have root x. This is the region from zero to one, and we're spinning it about the x-axis, so it's gonna look like this. Uh, basically, we're looking at quadrants one and four. That, that's where we need to put in all our detail. So x squared, root x, this is x equals 1, this is y equals 1, y equals negative 1 is down here somewhere. So then we have a reflection of that. And the other reflection. Doesn't have to be super duper pretty again, I, I'm being sort of more difficult here than I should. Uh, but as long as the, the graphs are somewhat respectable, you're okay. So label your functions. We're spinning this about the x-axis. And now we need to draw some trace points after we've drawn the reflection. So this point is not going anywhere. This point is coming down below the x-axis and then going back up behind it. So it comes out of the screen towards you and then goes back inside. Uh, let's say we take some arbitrary point here at this x value, this y value is going to come out and go back. And that same x value, this y value is going to come out, go down to the other side, and then come back. Now, the distance between here and here is going to be the radius of the first uh, slice on the inside or the smallest region. And the distance from this point to this point will be the radius of the larger region. So hopefully you remember that because we're rotating about the x-axis, the cross sections need to be perpendicular to it for disk and washer. So we'll have a large circle. We'll have a small circle. The radius is going to be some vertical distance for both. So the radius of the inner circle will be some y1 value. The radius of the outer circle will be a y2 value. The thickness because I'm slicing vertically will be an x value, so dx. Which means as I start labeling stuff, I need to start thinking about the radius or the radii of the two representative circles in terms of x. Now this distance, oops, I don't wanna draw there. This distance is going to be y1, and that distance is given by the y value of this function. This distance is going to be y2, and that's given by the y value of this function. So I know the top function is y equals root x. I know the bottom function is y equals x squared. So y sub 1 will be x squared, and y sub 2 will be root x. Now, we can use washer here to do things very quickly. Using the washer method, the volume will be the integral from where we start slicing to where we stop, which is we start at zero and we end at one, pi times the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared with respect to x in this case. So the volume will be from zero to one of pi times the outer radius is y sub two squared minus the inner radius is y sub one squared with respect to x. Again, we can't integrate a function of y with respect to x, so we can rewrite this as the integral from 0 to 1 of pi times y sub 2 we realized here was root x. That's the larger radius, so root x, the quantity squared, minus y sub 1 we realized earlier was x squared, so that's the smaller radius squared. And again, I'm just setting up these integrals here, but now you'd go off and, and find the actual integral if the question asks for it. On the other hand, frequently you'd be asked to just set up the definite integral that gives you the volume. And that's it. That's all you have to do with this question.